We're headed for disaster. That's the cruise. Vacation? No problem. We have a credit card. You can't go out. We don't have any money. It's been a tough year for Matt and I. We'll make more money. So let's see some sweat. <laughs> I'm a wedding and event planner. Uh, I install windows and doors. The only thing I like about work is that I do have some time off so that I, I can do what I want. I can go golf and I can play hockey. I think for being a couple who has just got married and just starting out, we have a lot of debt. I am currently on a stress leave from work right now, so it's affecting my ability to do my job. I don't lose too much sleep over it. My worst money habit would definitely be going on vacations. I have a passion for traveling. In the last year, we went on a cruise, went to Cuba, New York City, and in a month, we're taking another cruise. Somehow, we'll pay it later on. A large part of our debt is um, from a student loan that I have. The rest of it is just from buying things that we don't have money to purchase. I don't know how everything's being paid. I don't take care of that stuff, so. I handle all of the money issues in the house absolutely feel like his mother, absolutely, and I hate it. I'm really hoping that Gail can help us learn how to be a team, a partnership. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks, and it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Playing house has gotten these newlyweds $25,000 in debt in less than a year. Matt is a jock and a bit of a slacker who's used to having everything done for him. Natalie's so stressed out about the debt, she's taken a leave of absence from work, but has still managed to find time to plan another vacation. So I'm here to set this young couple straight. Gail Foss Oxley, nice, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. A quick look around the house will give me a good sense of how they're spending their money. Who has the good taste? <laughs> me. Expensive taste. Looks like the party's still going. What a beautiful bed. Lots of clothes. Wow. Nice fridge. She has every appliance. So why don't we start with you telling me why I'm here? We want to have kids someday. We, we know that, you know, continuing down this path, that's never going to happen. Okay. I'm kind of more of a laid back person, so it's not... It doesn't feel anything. I'm not so much worried right away. I know if we don't fix it, something's going to happen a little bit more down the road. How but... far down the road do you think something's going to happen? I don't know, maybe a year or two. When I looked at your tapes mm -hmm. and went through your finances, here's what I saw. You are experiencing a horrendous amount of stress and you don't think it's fair. That's right. You're just <laughs> clueless. <laughs> you married from your parents' home, and so now what you've done is you've swapped mummy and daddy for Natalie, and you're just sort of going along, having fun, playing games, drinking beer, and <laughs> totally oblivious to the impact that you're having on your wife. And so you may end up moving back in with mommy and daddy if you're not careful. <laughs> you're shopping, vacationing. I know. <laughs> and having a great life yeah. when you can barely afford to keep a roof over your head. Nat and Matt spend money like a couple of kids playing house. Financial grown-ups know you should only spend about 25% of your total income on life. So it's time for them to grow up. When we add up your department store, the money you're spending in cash, vacations, restaurants, and booze, you're spending $2,500 a month on non-essentials, which represents 67% of your income. And you guys are spending about 41% of your income on housing. The rule of thumb is about 35%. Hey, you guys are up over 100% so far. Yeah. And you haven't bought any food yet. That's crazy. So the fact that we're doing it is a, yeah, like a shock, a reality, that we obviously have to change. 
And most of that is because you, Matthew, do not bring home enough money. If he's going out to uh, play hockey, which he does, you know, like five nights a week, and then after that, he usually goes out for beer and wings with the guys. When am I coming home? After we're done eating. I resent the fact that he is spending money instead of spending time with me. Oh, Here is the screen for one of your vacations. Look at the number of transactions that you have for a total of $1,800. That's half your income, more than half your income. Spend in one week. That's because you won't stay home. <laughs> so she has to spend all that money just to get your attention. Okay, so do you have any more of those nice little vacations planned? Yes. And what are we planning now? We're going on a cruise. And have we paid for it? Yeah, with the credit card. Uh-huh. Glad to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> We've made light of this so far. But the reality of it is it's not actually so funny. You're overspending by $5,000 a month. And if you keep it up, in five years, you'll be $740,000 in debt. Wow. You won't have the house. Yeah. You can't afford kids. God knows what it would do to your relationship. So do you want to fix it? Yeah. I do. Yeah, Look I do. at me in the eye. I'll do anything you say, Gail. I'll do anything you say, Gail. Natalie. I'll do anything you say. Part of growing up is learning how to handle money, and that's what's in store for these two. First, they're gonna have to earn an income they can actually live on. Then they're gonna have to take responsibility for their finances and their debt. And finally, they're gonna work together as a team to build a great future together. One of the things I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make you live on cash. And while you're living on cash, you're gonna have to do some challenges for me. You successfully complete the challenges, I'll give you up to $5,000. Mess up, I take the money away. Okay. So the very next thing you need to do is go get me your credit cards and your debit cards. Scram. Coming up, these two need to put the brakes on. It's gonna be very painful. The party's over for newlyweds Matt and Natalie. They're spending 70% of their income on fun, and they don't have enough income to begin with. Because you, Matthew, do not bring home enough money. It seems like I'm not doing good enough, so I kind of hurt a little bit. Natalie's so stressed out about their finances, she's had to take sick leave. Poor Matt, he doesn't have a clue what's going on with the money. He's hooked on sports and pub grub. And her weakness is pricey vacations. $1,800 on the cruise. To get out of this mess, they're going to have to play by my rules. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget, no more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. Give me the credit cards. <laughs> Thank you. Lot of credit for 23 years old. Nice house for 23 <laughs> years old. You know what, you guys have to slow down. Yeah. And in that vein, <laughs> <laughs> I am about to cut your spending by a lot. Now, there's two parts to every budget, okay? There are your fixed costs, things like your mortgage payment and your car payments, things we can't diddle around with, mm -hmm. and there are your variable costs, things like beer and wings, <laughs> things like department store shopping. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cut back for more than 70%, almost 75%, in fact. To take you from about thirty-nine hundred dollars a month to a thousand dollars a month. It's going to be very painful. You're going to have one hundred and fifty dollars a week for food, transportation. You'll have sixty-five dollars. Entertainment. You'll have twenty-five dollars a week. It's <laughs> going to hurt. See the clothing and gifts. <laughs> yeah. Let me point out right now that when we did the budget, you were spending approximately eight hundred dollars a month in department stores. Girl. This $12.50 for clothing and gifts is actually your gift budget. You have no money for clothes. And then there's other. It's all the miscellaneous and sundry things on your budget. About 18 bucks, okay? Okay. This is the budget binder. 
because you've been blowing over $800 a month <laughs> in cash every month and we have no idea where it goes. So you have to write it down. This shows you how much you have to spend in each category. Do you feel more grown up already? <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line is, this household needs more income. Not just to live on, but to pay for the high living they've already done. So this week's challenge is a budget booster challenge, which you desperately need. <laughs> Matthew, my darling, I understand you work for the family business, okay? And I understand that you have a commitment to your family. But you know what? Plain and simple, you don't make enough money. You've got to double your income. Mm. So you go back to Papa Bear, and you say, I need to bring home a regular paycheck that's double my current income, or you keep your current job with Papa Bear, and you go to you get another job, I don't care. You have till the end of the month, so let's see some sweat. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hit home a little more when someone's actually telling you what's the consequences of what you're doing. Okay, I can see I have to try a lot harder than what I was doing before, because I don't want to move out. <laughs> I like this house. <laughs> Matthew took on his challenge by offering his services as a neighborhood handyman, and the legwork paid off. I'll get passed by your house later on tonight to give you that price for that door. It's not too bad. I enjoy doing the work, so I guess I won't be golfing that much more. Coming up, Natalie's ship runs aground. The cruise is gone. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. troubles are driving newlyweds Natalie and Matt apart. You're overspending by $5,000 a month. Matt has never paid a household bill in his life. You're just <laughs> clueless. <laughs> But Natalie can't handle doing it all alone. I am currently on a stress leave from work right now. Their self-indulgence has already put them $25,000 in the hole. But that hasn't stopped Natalie from booking their second cruise in a year to celebrate their anniversary. If they can grow up financially and accomplish all my challenges, I'll give them up to $5,000 to pay down their debt. So you worked your butt off this week, right? Yes, I did. Um, what did you do? Uh, did some tiles and uh, installed a storm door. <laughs> and so, like, this is the stuff you uh, could have been doing before, right? Uh, oh, look. I, maybe I could have. Natalie's maybe. nodding her head. Maybe. And so what was stopping you? <laughs> you lazy boy. If it's boy. a nice day, why wouldn't you go golfing instead? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you have no money to do anything fun, so you just have to work your buns off. Yeah. Well, this week's challenge is a life lesson challenge. Okay. You have been responsible for all the financial management thus far. Guess what? <laughs> That's about to change. Yeah. Uh -oh. Because you know what? You're a team. Yeah. You sort of need some help learning how to be the captain of your ship. Here it comes. <laughs> You're going to take a sailing lesson. <laughs> okay. Now, it may sound like Natalie has nothing to do because so far it's just fun for her, right? You're working an extra job. What does she have to do? She's she has to sell the cruise. Get out of the cruise. I don't care what it takes. The cruise is gone. This would have been their second cruise in a year, neither of which have been paid for. But I knew this was important to Natalie, so I gave her an option. Or find a way to pay for it Oh, baby. I can pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sell myself to pay for the cruise. <laughs> but it can't come out of your existing budget. Okay. It has to be found money. Okay? Barring that, the cruise is gone. Okay. Doing away with the trip is not really an option for me. It's a way to celebrate our anniversary. And I really want to go on it. I think we need it. The big thing about this kind of a boat is it's really a two-person boat, so it's teamwork required to actually sail it. The person who's in the rear of the boat is actually in control of the direction the boat is going and the speed the boat's going. The person at the front, you're actually helping control direction because without the sail, the boat doesn't steer very well. So it's really a two-person job. Ready to come boat? Ready. The sailing metaphor is quite appropriate for these two. If they don't learn to work together, they're sunk. Perfect. You guys are now in control. All right. How about you? How'd you like your challenge? It was interesting. No, it's a good life lesson. It is. Excellent. 
I'm determined to go on this cruise, so I've actually picked up a couple of event gigs on the side, and uh, I'm here for a meeting on one of them. This is what I love doing. I love planning events. So I am doing this on the side now, and it is bringing in extra money, not just to pay for the cruise, but in the long run, it is going to bring in more money for Matt and I, and so it's a good thing. So how was it? Did you enjoy being captain of your own ship? It was fun. It yeah. was good. Did you sell the cruise? No. No! But. But? <laughs> I'm making some extra money. I think I might be able to pay off the cruise before we actually go on it. You think you might be able to? I will be able to. Ah. I will that's be much able better. to. If you can do that, you can keep the cruise. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually. But if so much as 25 cents <laughs> goes on your credit card, I will come back and haunt you. I bet you will. Yeah. <laughs> Not only is Natalie earning $2,500 for the cruise, she's also learning a valuable lesson about saving for the things you want. That discipline is what's gonna keep her on track when I'm gone. You guys have a relationship that needs to be nurtured. So your next challenge is a relationship rescue challenge. Matthew, yeah. I want you to create the most romantic evening with the most sumptuous meal that you can prepare. You can get some help from a friend of hers if you need some. <laughs> I want you to blow her socks off. And I want you to maybe just show up in the socks. Are you guys gonna come take that? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Great. To get you off on the right foot, a robust red. Make the evening fabulous and learn that this takes work. Coming up, when it comes to romance. You're always right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Matt and Natalie's young marriage is threatened by their rapidly growing debt. In five years, you'll be $740,000 in debt. That was really scary. While Natalie has a taste for fine furniture and clothes, Matt's carefree lifestyle leaves Natalie feeling neglected, so she books expensive vacations. That's because you won't stay home. Money troubles are the leading cause of divorce, so I wanted to get these two newlyweds working together on their finances. Look, we have money. But Matt still needs to learn that marriage is more than having a roommate. So I've challenged him to bring back the magic feeling with a romantic dinner. If they can accomplish all of my challenges, they'll earn up to $5,000 to help pay down their debt. Hey. Hey. I'm here to help. You're here to help me? What are we making? Filet mignon with a mushroom wine sauce. Ooh, that smells really good. What is Natalie doing right now? I can tell you that you will like it. It's been a long time since we've had a nice romantic night, especially one that Matt cooked for her. So I'm excited about it. I do know what romantic is, but I don't think it's the need of a rescue. Maybe a boost. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And it's ice cream cakes. I know you like ice cream cake. This is the wine that K.O. gave us. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wow. Good? It's really good. There's never enough romance for me, so. When he puts his mind to things, he, he knows what I like. He knows how to impress me. I hear you made a fabulous dinner. And so the question I really have for you is if you can cook so well, what are you doing in a hockey rink leaving her home alone at night to fend for dinner? <laughs> and I hear you didn't look so shabby in your little hockey jersey there, girl. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fun. It was very fun. OK. And how does it feel to be looking forward to a holiday that you're not going to owe anything on? It actually feels really good. Yeah. It does. See how that is? I know. You're always right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you know what? You guys did great this month. When I got here, you were headed to three quarters of a million dollars worth of debt. But that's not what's happening now. We've set aside some money in your budget for debt repayment, and in a year, nine of your 10 creditors will be paid off, leaving only your student loan, which will be paid off in one more year. Two years, that's you're debt-free. Amazing, I know. 
It's a pretty nice week, isn't yeah, it? that's not bad. That's <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> well, you know, we did some very important things over the last four weeks. We made sure we got the income up in this house mm -hmm. and so that you were pulling your weight. Yeah. And we took control of the finances and the debt. And we wanted to make sure you guys started acting like you were actually married. Yep. Put some of the romance back into it. Yep, it's been wonderful. So, I have something for you. I wonder what it is. <laughs> this is not always my favorite part. Sometimes yeah, this can be disappointing. <laughs> okay? Okay. But not today. I have a check for $5,000 to help you pay down your debt. That's amazing. Thank you. That's so exciting. <laughs> Thank but you. there's more! <gasps> there is. I'm sending you away for a weekend. We'll stay in a bed and breakfast. Wow. And we will spot you for dinner. So have a nice bottle of wine on me. Wow. Okay. We haven't really had any fights about money this month. I think the experience has brought us a lot closer. Tell me how to uh, take care of the finances, pay the bills. Take care of your wife. Take care of my wife. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> <laughs>